and I'm likely to get myself in trouble, but uh, I can't. I can't not say anything at this point. Look, it was. Let, let's just be brutally honest at this point. I expressed concern last week that with Sarah Steelman getting in this race, uh, how do I do this delicately? I think my comment at the time was, I don't know that she's the sharpest knife in the drawer. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that became pretty apparent during that interview, didn't didn't it? Was it just me? I felt like I was talking to Russ Carnahan for a moment. Nothing against Congressman Carnahan. I mean, I like him. I don't have anything personally against Sarah Steelman. But that was painful. Yeah, we get that she's against tax increases. There was no substance whatsoever to anything that I asked her. Was there? Was I just missing out on something? There was nothing. I tried. I actually was pretty nice. I could have been harder on her than I was. Yeah, sure, she's hot. I get that. I don't disagree with that. That's fine. But this we're not voting on who should be the hottest U.S. Senate candidate. Nothing against you, Senator Talent. Pretty attractive yourself. Not that there's anything wrong with that. But that's troubling to me. And what I said after the election, and I really mean it, is, and you have to be careful about this, the quality of your candidate matters. It certainly matters when you have someone, and I know many of you do not like her, but when you have someone as popular as Senator McCaskill. Senator McCaskill is pretty smart. You may not agree with her. You may not like her, but she's pretty sharp. Moving forward in the United States Senate race in Missouri, I just hope many people remember that. You have to have, I don't care if you're here in Missouri or if you're in Delaware or if you're in Nevada. You see a common thread here? The quality of the candidate matters, ladies and gentlemen. That's all I'll say for now.